Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, we had an amazing conversation with Anta Lanio. But yes, you know how we do it on this show. We give you extra. You know, buy one, get one free. Okay. Yes. Our next guest is a fast rising singer, songwriter, and producer. Also, rating rock Akibi. I can pronounce the rock properly. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Popularly known as Juju Boy Star, was born September 1st, 1990. I'll not give you the, the year, the <laughs> word. In Nigeria, and started his musical journey at a very young age in the church choir, which influenced his unique style of Afro R&B soul. He has coined as the Juju vibe. Juju has lent his talents to other artists such as Adekunle Gold. His music is, is inspired by the artistic styles of Fela Nicola Kokuti, Bob Mali, Wandeko, and Bang. W. In 2017, Juju released his first single, Coco. We he went on to release others. I don't know if that's Coco or Coco or Coco. Or, I don't know. <laughs> he went on to release other singles such as Dear Girlfriend and Gimme Love. Juju Boy has written songs for some of the biggest names in the industry, including Adiza by Koli featuring Mayo Kun and Money by Gospel on the Beat featuring Okemute and uh, Moonchild. Juju also co wrote Before You Wake Up and Kelet Bear, both song by Adekunle Gold. Let us welcome the one and only. Juju boy. I'm going to say the one and only yeah. star boy. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have to be the second one. The one and only <laughs> Juju boy star. Yeah, yeah. What's good, yeah, man? Good, What's man. good, Thank man? So That's a nice man. sweater, man. I hope yeah. you're going to pull it out the door yeah, when you leave it. It's definitely. It's super. That whole big. Big cardigan vibe. It definitely look good. Yes, I'll be here. Boyfriend <laughs> sweater. <laughs> How you doing, man? No, I'm good, man. How All right, so the Juju vibe. Tell mm. us yeah. about that, man. And you have a vibe to you as well. Right, Tell yeah, us, how right. did you come about the Juju vibe? Um, it's like, um, what it what it is, is is me taking like different genres of music and then just putting it together to make my own. Mm. Right, so it's where we take like um, R&B chord progressions and take Afrobeat drums and just put it together. Just make something different, something right. fresh. Yeah. But you have like a really, really like calm vibe That's about right. you, which right. is kind of weird yeah. in the industry. Everybody's like, you know, aggressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it obviously works. Yeah. Like I think you're, a few of your songs really speak to me. I have mm -hmm. like the chill vibes and all that. Okay. But I wanted to know, being in this type of climate where we have quite a lot of mm. different types of audience in Nigeria, mm -hmm. we have the Afrobeat people and all mm -hmm. of that, mm -hmm. and then the Alte, and there's quite a lot of things mm -hmm. stirring up. How right. do you cater to as many people? Um, I feel like um, I want to do the kind of music that, that you get to feel. Mm. It's not just about um, vibing or just making something, just making just something mm. you feel. Something, um, most times I do stuff based on my experience because right. yeah, it's relatable, it's more relatable, it's just something that. If you're in a sad state, you could you could like hear the lyrics and it makes sense to you. But at the same time, you want to get out of that space. Like it makes you dance and still mm. makes you happy. What is it? What is the journey like for you? Right. We've we've met heaps of people right, in right. different stages on right. this table. <laughs> Everybody has a different story. Yeah. Some people are lucky one song. Some people with ten years. Yeah. Some people they found a team. You know, there's always facts, facts, mm -hmm. facts, facts, yeah, facts. we have that. We have that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know. It just shows that Nigeria is just quite a complex and right, unique place. Right. So, for your music journey, how's that been like in Nigeria? Like, what's the journey for you? Um, it's it's been a lot though. It's been how they say inshallah and vibes and mm. so many prayers. And 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's been crazy though. But um, so luckily I met um a Gold because I did like a there's this competition he was doing, so I was part of it. Mm. So um. He gave me this platform like not like he taught me a lot mm. so it was easy for me to just learn ropes faster than most people would so i think that was a, that was a good thing and co-writing for him gave me like a whole different perspective about music mm. like i learned a lot from him like yeah. i can't even explain just too much and kelly bear is a big song it's by the sick, way man. Yeah, even, and then before you wake up mm. yeah, before crazy oh, yeah. crazy yeah so it's like even even when I was doing that with him, it looked like it w he was actually doing me a favor. Like he, he can't pull that off without me, right? Mm. So it's like I would do some stuff that didn't really sound right, and he comes to me like, "Oh no, you should do it like this. Do it like mm. you." I'm like, "You could just do it yourself, right?" But then why you choose to help me? Like yeah, so it's like. That's awesome. Yeah, All right, so your background, your present background right. is where we have the African giants from mm -hmm. aristocrats. Right. Right. So we're looking at the <laughs> yeah, next yeah, African yeah, giant, yeah, yeah. you know. That's and a how is it like working with aristocrats? You know, they work with one of the best minds, you know, Larry, right. Burner Boy, mm -hmm. Tinea, and a host right, of others. Right. Yeah. How does he feel like working with that type of experienced record mm -hmm. label? Um, it's it's a blessing really because yeah. it doesn't really feel like I'm I'm in a workspace. 
Oh. It feels like family. Do you get what I'm oh. saying? Like everybody's like That's super cool. nice. They, it's not even just about music. It's like, uh, are you okay today? Have you had something to eat? Like, mm. do you get it's like it's it's family I'll thing. Family. I want to know more mm. about the writing space. Okay. A lot of the times. Especially on social media with right. blogs, it seems like it's a terrible abomination. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody writer. else wrote your song, and you see that artists are kind of, uh, you know, mm. I'm not that wrote it, it's not him. And I don't understand it either because yeah. everywhere else it's not a big deal to have somebody write your song. So then mm. to see someone who's actually written for people, yeah. and you seem to be really vocal about it. Right. Like we've had people who say, yeah, 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 who they are. This one we're even reading as your bio, like yeah. it's confident yeah, and so, yeah. so you, you you are giving me lucky vibes. Mm-hmm. Like your journey is <laughs> like quite yeah, different, yeah, you know. Same. How Kelet did you... Mm-hmm. Bear, it's just simple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel, you know I, feel yeah. I feel like it's, um, it's, it depends on the energy you give a person, right? Because it's like, it's, it's a mirror type thing. If you give them like positive energy, they, they subconsciously give that back to you. Right. And these people, they've been really good. And I feel like when artists don't talk about people who co-write the songs, it's, it's some kind of pride or what it is. Mm. Yeah, I don't know Security why they do that. Mm. Yeah, and so sometimes it's their branding. So mm. maybe it's something you love about them. So it's not, they can't just tell you somebody helped writing the song. So, and most of these ones we do is co-writing. It's not like you write the whole song for them because right. right. this art, they're mad talented as hell. They don't really need you. Mm. It's like sometimes they give you an opportunity to be part of this because everybody has to grow. But do you think in, in Nigeria it's possible to just be a songwriter for big artists? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for okay. sure, for sure. Like for make sure. that career. Yeah, for sure. and not nah. have your own. People, people, there are lots of people that do that already, mm. but some people just even like to be low key. They don't like it. The reason you, you know about this now is because I'm an artist as well. Mm. Yeah, so most people just like to be like songwriters. Alright, really so I saw your recent video and I felt like, well, yeah, this has my, been like one of the cleanest my, videos yeah, I've yeah. seen in 2020, <laughs> right? So let's talk about your recent body of work because right. we're running out of time. So we just need you okay. to touch on, you know, what your recent body of work, what you be expecting before the year runs out the year 2021 oh, where can they God, find man. you where are you st- you know this you just right. had 181 million streams so uh, you know what's 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 going down with you just you know real quick just tell um, us about you blow us away um, if I are the host yeah so first <laughs> of yeah all my socials are at juju boy star yeah. so like for twitter instagram everything nice. and then um i have another song dropping like this december nice. right nice. so it's like supposed to be mad mad as vibe um yeah that's that's supposed to be a surprise yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah no, but yeah apart from so tell us just, one name okay give us like the first letter and like the last letter of the okay person. yeah we'll figure it out my manager is doing this to me <laughs> okay right no first letter <laughs> last letter okay um, one letter in the entire name give ah, us that man, this is, this no now this, this is hard and don't give us a don't give us a a, a vowel give us a consonant uh, tell me a w and it yo um but but all i can say is right really mad vibes coming there's a song dropping this december and then after this hopefully i think what is best is like a project mm. get? we have like enough songs for like two albums and all that uh, but uh, you just want to just give them some more okay what's the vibe like what's the perfect song for you um ah man i like i like girls who <laughs> so, um, ah, that's, that's one. Then the other one, right? I, can, I don't think I can say it on camera. Mm, okay, don't get, say it on yeah. camera. It's a family it's, program. It's that, you guess, yeah, you get. Yeah, I, I, I don't know get. what he's talking about, <laughs> but thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us, Juju Boy Star. Thank you so and remember, much. You remember, you can join the con- con- um, conversation on these that's need me, you know, yeah. <laughs> on this conversation on social media with the hashtag right. Tea Time or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Out to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co anchors, Ifeo Mai and Eni Ola, and the entire production team. Peace and love.